this up. It is fortunate that this place survived the panic surrounding the sludge. Still, Leto was quite worked up about all the damage. It certainly is in a dire need of repair. Is it? It looks fine. He was in a rather excited state when he left to look for materials at East Reservoir Lake. I hope he finds what he needs. Is that you, not you, Link? Let me guess, have you also come here in search of a lovely new diving spot? Let me guess, you jump from up there. And so, I have some heartbreaking news to share. This will be a tough to bear, but I ask that you stay strong. Yeah. There is no water here, none. I had hoped to break new grounds by diving amid the solid ruins. I was positively brimming with excitement. As my joy was short-lived, when I arrived, the water suddenly retreated until I could see the ground beneath. A diver without water is like a bird without sky. It is a sad state of affairs, I assure you. Uh -huh. A cave inside a cave. That's a diving spot. Talus. Mm -hmm. Okay, wakey, wakey. These graves have been passed down among the surface generations, being said they are crafted using dragon scales that keep them to swim faster. Yeah. Ah, Link. Oh. My word, you really found a gaping hole in the dried up ruins, and also a wide space at the bottom of the hole using those incredible griefs. Ah. Uh, now that all is said and done, it is clear that my instincts were spot on. I knew this was destined to be an ideal dive spot. Let us now break new diving grounds, fellow diving friend, fiend. And uh, off we go into the gaping hole of promised diving glory. Link, hero of the dive, thank you for sharing this important update with me. Good that I could actually update you. Do you think that my precious diving water was draining out through the a gaping hole? I knew without a doubt that this would be an ideal diving spot, which let me, now let me astray. Yeah, but there are no waterfalls there. I'm not sure how you will be able to get back here. Oh. 
Okay, free me, darling. Link. It's May. My blood May has finally returned home. It is all thanks to you, Link. Thank you so very much. It's hard to believe that she was on a sky island. I was so worried. I couldn't eat or bite or even drink a drop of water. Oh, Link, when I saw May's sweet face, her lovely head was hung in shame. It was painfully clear that she had already scolded herself terribly over this on the way back home. Ah. Had no choice but to let her off the hook and ease her concerns with a nice warm hug. I'm just so happy that she's back home safe and sound. Mm -hmm. Darling, I'm a little surprised that you're showing so much emotion. You've never ceased to amaze. <laughs> I was crazy about the hearty bass on the Sky Island, but from now on, I'll only be that crazy about you, just like old times. Oh. By the way, I tried to prepare something for you. What do you think? Hearty fish skewer. Stores your health, interbred increases your maximum hearts. Simple dish made by cooking chunks of fresh fish skewer. <laughs> Azora eats fish raw, of course, but I prepared this meal especially for you as thanks. I'm no expert, but the amount of salt I use is spot on, if I do say so myself. Mm. Thank you so very much, Link. Oh. May, despite all that we have endured, my feelings for you have never altered. They, sh they never show. There is another feeling of mine that has also never changed. That is my sister's hope. Ah. That you never go anywhere dangerous ever again. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, my darling. And they're gone. Oh, May. I found a hearty bass in this floating place and got a little overexcited, but I've calmed down. Pretty much, I've been taking a nice little break from work, my work, you know? Because <laughs> my sister darling said he hoped I would stay close to home for a while, so what I can, what can a lady in love do? Link, I'm so grateful for you to find in my blood May. I believe she finally learned her lesson. She likely won't give it to overconfidence after all that has transpired. <laughs> well, for a while anyway. Okay, I got that. Oh, Sterling, about the Zorgrives? Oh. So a large hole opened up within the waterworks, draining the water. And the Zora Greaves were at the bottom of that big hole. Extraordinary. <sighs> After all that my saddle has told me, I can safely say that it is so like you to find them on your own, Sir Erling. May they prove useful to you during your noble travels. The Zora Greaves are a symbol of the friendship between the Zora and the Hylians. As uh, such, it is a most fitting gift for you, as you are truly an irreplaceable friend to all the Zoro of the domain. <laughs> Speaking of irreplaceable friends, never mind the side and opens his mouth, chances are it is to speak of you, Sir Link. Whoa. He'll say things like, Link is the best, and also, no task is unsurmountable where, when I am with Link. I feel a bit silly telling you this, but after all that has inspired, I truly understand how he came to feel that way. Sir Link, thank you so very much that, that he has found a true companion in you makes me as happy as it does him. <laughs> Zora's domain will always be with you, now and forevermore. Consider that a fervent promise. Please do not be a stranger, just friend of the domain. Oh, oh yeah, the one said that Getzo was planning to raid some monsters. So I have previously used in battle was damaged beyond repair. Uh, that means the information Queen Yona found is the only key we have to repay your main step to Sir Link. Oh, it's you, Sir Link. Is there something we can help you with? <laughs> you may say you already found the Zora Helm? You think that it was hidden in a floating fish shaped island? <laughs> so the Zora Helm was up in the sky, meaning it was impossible for us to find it from the start. Thanks to you, Sir Link, our goal was achieved, same as though we had retrieved the helm for you ourselves. Perhaps this means that Kira is lengthy lectures will finally come to an end. Mm. Roma. 
This was intended to be our opportunity to honor Sir Link for his contributions. Instead, we caused trouble for him. We have much to be sorry for, and yet there it is, that inexplicable smirk upon your face. It seems it, a, it seems it again falls on me to instruct you in proper conduct for an attendant. Listen carefully. No, it cannot be. I was so sure the lectures would finally end. Mm -hmm. Enough tomfoolery. I will not allow it. Aww. This cannot be happening. Mm -hmm. On daily basis, you must conduct yourself in a proper manner. Mm. Yes, yeah, right, yes, of course. Oh. And I found hey. the helm. Link, I am a joy to see you, my friend. I'm still getting information for this around. The journey must continue in one word. Shall be in fear spirit. She's always. Yes. In any case, is there something else you want to speak with me about? Hmm. What is this? You found the secret treasure. Oh. You truly you are truly amazing. That is the link that I have come to admire so. Mm, it seems the secret treasure was the same helm that the Sage of Water was wearing. No. The one you're after is uses is the same one. This feeling it is as though that item is resonating with the sages of water's power theme. Mm -hmm. Link, you must make good use of the helmet. There is no doubt in my mind that it will further strengthen the bone we share. I am, after all, the sage of water. I am certain that it will prove useful on your journey as well. I am with, with you in spirit, now and always. Should you ever need me, do not hesitate to call upon me, my friend. Uh, I don't remember was it, were you here uh, before? Yeah. Oh no, Giato. Link, it is good to see you. I am, after all, indebted to you for your repair of the stone slate. Thanks to your efforts, this ledge has disappeared, meaning that I can resume my research. Oh. All of the stone monuments across the various Zoro regions, including this one, were made anew. They were all thoughtfully written by our beloved Prince Sidon. Oh, I meant to say our beloved King Sidon. Uh, if you ever see one during your travels, I encourage you to read it. Uh, you could point me to them. Ah. Someone may want to. Get some in here. Ah, she's. So, you're going to raid some monsters? Yeah. Link, thank you for saving the domain once again. I could never repay you for all that you have done for us. But even though this ledge is gone, these found villains keep showing up. What's wrong? Uh. Up there. They're monsters. They built a fort just past East Reservoir Lake uh, in the north of Jabu Reach. I think maybe the least awful size spot from up there. They're taking advantage of the chaos that was caused by the sludge. What are what rotten feelings? Oh. There's no way to know if it's true, but there's rumor that a Hylian has been captured. That isn't unacceptable. And for all we know, the domain could be targeted next. We can just sit back and watch. Mm. Uh, we need a plane and fast. Yeah, I think the other ones I spotted earlier. Um, well, it could be that as well, but I think they should mention Total Peak. No shrines around. No, I think it would be over here. Well, let's check those. <laughs> oh, you saw me. Several Lizalfos, this is also being influenced by the Demon King's Finnish magic to become the mightiest of all Lizalfos. They are called silver for their neat coloring and also to denote their rarity. Their horns turned ominous by the Demon King's influence can cut anything with the slightest touch. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Tyrannosaurus horn, a cycle shaped horn that looks like it could slice anything it touches. Attach to a weapon to vastly increase attack power or cook the creature to make elixir. Uh, I didn't take a picture. I suppose it wasn't those as well. Oh. Hmm, water. Sorry, could you please unbug me while I'm in the middle of this? We're done with this. That was amazing, you're so strong. I bet evil always scatters when you show up. Ah. Uh, here, this is one of my favorite foods. Would you take some and thanks for helping me? Sneaky veg porridge. Grants a low level stealth boost. Porridge made of easy to digest vegetables, fresh milk, and highland rice. An uplifting dish. Hi. I water am wandering all through how hard you're collecting bugs. Are uh, you perhaps also a fan of insects. Mm -hmm. Honestly, how could it not be? From the, their beautiful wing sparrow to their tough uh, exoskeletons, who are perfect creatures. Oh, I've got it. As a thanks for your help, let me give to you my knowledge of all things insecta. That's a science name for bugs. <laughs> you are traveling around Harry too, so such wisdom will help you find all sorts of bugs on your journey. Okay, let's start with basics. Oh. I'm sure you know that Harrow has warm regions and cold regions, right? Well, just like most folks, our different bug friends prefer different climates depending on their needs. So, warm regions like Elding are often home to summer wing butterflies and warm darners. Meanwhile, cold darners and winter wing butterflies prefer cold regions like Hebra. <laughs> so, you see, if you know what kind of bugs live where you're heading, it makes the journey that much more fun. <laughs> and that's it for Dr. Waters' insect crush curse. I hope we meet again somewhere soon. Do you wander around? Otherwise, I'll never meet you again. You kind of look like a hipster link. Oh, since she, she mentioned, maybe it gets marked on the map. Ah, uh, yeah, it is the Fort that Jabu reach. <laughs> okay, this is an infiltration. Uh huh. Oh. oh, that's new. Silver boss goblin, the mightiest of all boss goblins, is a wonder that they are related at all to the lowly guardian variety of goblin. The evil part of the demon king dwells in their bodies and horns, enabling formidable attacks. And watch out for the elite minions that hang around them too. Wow, oh, that's a interesting horn. So you truly are just a goblin. Huh. Huh, you again? I didn't get a, a quest for your other one. Let's check what they have here. Lino Reaper. Uh, mm, arrows. Amber. Okay, let's try not to harm them. Interesting that they just ignore the spirits following me, but they don't mind. They fight them when 
so they can see them all the time. Let's see, can I release him? Oh, but I don't think they are mining me. Poor guy. There, you're safe. Wow. Okay, Let, let's try something. Mm -hmm. Big deal. Let's start to make. I think I will be safe inside that. Those the hearty truffle. Hearty truffle doesn't include its outside is crispy. It tastes great, but hearty truffles are far more effective when cooked in a recipe. Baked palm fruit. This palm fruit was broiled with direct heat, resulting in steam fresh flesh inside the rind. Best served at the moment the juices merge while roasting. There are even more here. Hey, there's a little guy here. You better be careful. Guy. Come over here. Okay, you are part of the same fight over there. Oh, careful. Don't break anything. That's a lot of... No! I'm going back to the last save. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, good. They're all oh, there. <laughs> and the boss Wokoblin is already throwing some Wokoblins at him. Uh, that's okay, if I try to mess with it, it'll explode, so... I thought it would be better. Oh! You better really focus on that guy. Silver boss Bokoblin horn, a circular serrated horn. The neatly tied strap contains arcane power. Attached to a weapon to vast increase attack power or cook it with a critter to make elixir. They Bokoblins can do magic. You know. Yo, thank you for rescuing me again. I'm sorry this keeps happening, but when I dig into mystery, I just can't let go. When the monsters revive when the blood moon rises. I'll do whatever it takes to figure it out, and if the means sneaking into their dens again and again and again. Uh, but it looks like I wasn't as careful as I thought. Please take this for saving me. Salt grilled fish. A simple dish made by rolling a whole fish in a natural rock salt before grilling it. 
You want another? Alright. Energizing meat and mushroom skewer. Instantly refuse some of your stand oil, a filling dish made by grilling various malt ingredients with meat. No, this is not enough to properly convey my gratitude here. In your elixir. Okay, I have one already. So now it's the third quarter moon. Mm, are you lonely, my moon? With only half of your self for company. Well, you have to excuse me. It seems dangerous to stick around, don't you think? Yeah, I hope I meet him some other places like that. It's helpful to have that distraction. Shiver faints. Huh. Link, regarding the subject of that monster fort, we decide to gather some soldiers to go and dispense justice. <laughs> we'll make them pay for their actions, and uh, my fins are shivering with excitement. I defeated them. Ooh. What? So, I guess that means you did all that on your own? Oh. Well, no. That is quite impressive, Link. Huh. Now, we put together a team and prepared all night, yet you did this all by yourself. How huh, indeed? <laughs> Well, let's leave it at that. I'm so grateful that the domain is safe once again. Please allow me to thank you. Take this. Good. Huh. This was our war fund for striking down our enemy. However, since our object has already been achieved, please accept this as a reward link. You've more than earned it with your distinguished service. <laughs> as for me, I should report that the threat is gone at once. I think the only quest remaining is Finley's, but I don't really want to go all the way there now. Yep, let's report back to Pura. Oh, there's Zoras here. Oh yeah, they didn't say they would come here, did they? The others, I guess, they said some stuff. Huh. Cool. I should have that. Oh, I don't know you guys, do I? Oh. No, I never left Zora's domain before this, so living here feels very new to me. <laughs> it is interesting, if I do have to train all day. Hmm. The captain is strict, but compared to how the things were with the sludge, this is nothing. Now it is our turn to repay our debt. We will protect this fort with everything we have, just as you protect the domain from the sludge. Uh, and if Princess Zelda turned out to be actually the evil one, you guys will be in an awkward situation here. We swear to protect this place so that you and King Sidon can safely focus on your investigation. Hey! You protect the domain, that is why this time we will be the ones doing the protection. I think it is you. So, oh, you have returned to local lane, huh? We have the Zora Brigade. We're sent here by Order of King Sidon. Please rest assured that we are sworn to protect local lane by the honor of our king. Are you guys Power Rangers? Hmm. Oh, I didn't notice the... Uh... Is then the order I get them? Well, this is also the order Pura was pointing me to. Ah, that's where Muzu is. This place is so dry. Mm, it is time for a new generation to lead the way in Zoro's domain. I leave it to King Sino and Queen Yona to forge our path. However, King Sino also has his new duties as a sage to attend to. Yeah, he isn't doing much about that right now. It is in his stead we will proudly protect the local laning so that King Sino can devote himself to his newfound duties. In addition, we are preparing to embark on a diligent inquiry into the geoglyphs that have appeared across Hyrule. We will share any information we uncover at once. 
Of course, the kingdom is vast, so please understand that it will take some time for us to gather this information. Hmm. Ah. There are a few most free when surrounded by water. That is also when we are most effective. Our intention is to use the Harus rivers and water ways to escape the geoglyphs that have been sighted across Harus. Of course, the king's vessel. So, so, when can I get some information? Hmm. Linky, welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. Hmm. The major cold front uh, that it's in upon the Rito, the marble rock roads that the girls couldn't get enough of. Finally, the sludge contaminating the Zora's water supply. All these things connect to Princess Zelda somehow. Hmm. That must have been exceptionally challenging, Link. But thanks to your efforts, some normalcy has returned. Entrusting those areas to you was the right decision after all. Hmm. It's become clear as day that there is a connection between Princess Zelda and the people. Things are much more serious than I anticipated. You need to hurry to the remaining region as soon and soon. And what's the other place I'm concerned about? Uh, what other <laughs> village? Is the village to the southeastern Haru called Hateno Village. It's one of the largest Haru villages there is. It's the largest. Robbie and I have a lab we use there as a base for our research. Fortunately, the area hasn't been bothered by random objects raining down out of the sky. Hmm. Although there has been unrest in the village, from what I've heard. Arguments breaking out, things like that. Princess Zelda created a school there uh, and was trying to use the village as a starting point for storing Hyrule. Up until recently, it was a very peaceful place to see. If you want more info, <gasps> talk to Atmos down at the shelter, he can probably point you in the right direction. He helps deploy the monster control field, his card, and you know, get your grip knowledge. He can tell you more about various region hmm. peoples. Anyway, I can get help from the research division for this. But I'm interested in the investigation of the remaining region. Remaining region. Hmm. You got to be kidding. This is exactly what you should be using your pro pad for. To forget of something. I guess that's kind of for you, isn't it? Can I say pro pad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The last location is the Gerudo region to the southwest. Gerudo is on the southwestern edge. It's quite a track from here. It'd be wise to rest at the stables along the way. For Gerudo, the most direct road is straight through the Red Gerudo Highlands. The temperature shifts there can be pretty unforgivable, uh, but it, it's a formidable place unless you are a seasoned tra traveler with the means to react quickly uh, to the environment. I'm sure figure it out. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if you need a refresher on what to do, check your pro pad. Keep me posted. Okay, you just told me to go there. Didn't say there is a problem there. I think I can get two more. Now let's first get some money there and oh that's let's get some money and go to 
in buying those pieces.